Right, I do. But um, <laughs> what, what I find so interesting is that how we struggle over the things of God, but the things of the world, we it's, mm -hmm. it seems like it comes easy. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, check it's this out. Perfection. For instance, Carell, you on a job interview, it's no question that you ain't gonna wear your pants hanging below your behind and we ain't, you know, we not gonna, you know, we not gonna see your Burberry boxes and things like that. Now, it may happen. I've been in positions, I've been in positions where I had to interview people and I'm sitting there like, do you know what you was coming to before you? Yeah. Can you get up off the dog? I'm coming for interview. But, now, there, there has been instances, but majority of the times, it's not a question as to how we need to present ourselves going into a job interview. So why and where did we, where did we, how did we get to the place where we can come to church, we can come to church any kind of way? Red not your guard. The misunderstanding of red not your guard. I, I'm just a strong believer. We can put people out of church. <laughs> we can put the unruly out. And you come to my church. It's a matter of. I don't know. Open can somebody check that, please? It's a matter of. And I got you, Courtney. It's a matter of respect. We need a donut. <laughs> we do. We're getting ready to raise up an offering. No. Mm -hmm. Just joking. Mm -hmm. Hey! Yeah, we can. Who? No. No. All are welcome to over 18. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because the other guys, they went on some kind of little field trip. They went on a field trip. Oh, yeah, they all gone. Where'd they go? Tell her come on in. Yeah, she had no place else to be. Yeah, she don't have no other place to be. Oh, you got home. I don't know. That's how we get. Yeah, I don't know. Can I see that? Huh? It's good, too. It's a good song. I hear it. Layers? 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 What I was going to say is, you know, that, that level of modesty and some people, especially with like women's, women's dress, who gets to say what's modest and what's not? Because you can, you know, be covered up head to toe, mm -hmm. and yeah, I might be overdoing it, but where does the line stop between modesty and not being modest? I mean, it's, I, I believe it's just common sense. It might not be common sense. Common, common sense, sense is to common. common to everyone, yeah. My mother says that all the time. But that's why, and that's why God has made, God has made special people like Devon. Especially when you so let you know when you look the best. Especially when you get other people's denominations. Somebody else. When you get, other, when you get the other, other denominations and stuff, they got different ideas of modesty. Modesty is you gotta be in a skirt every day. Not just Sundays. Modesty is well, you gotta be shamed face like no makeup. I have a coworker. It'd be cold outside. And she had a little skirt. And I'm like, what the oh, this is my religion. You stupid dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. Put some pants on. She might got a blanket in the car. So. We walk she for lunch. She, and she, might, she might have a walk and shit like this. We talking about a oh, she, she ain't got no pants on. We walking walk to get something to eat. She like this, and I'm like, you okay? It's cold. You think? She said just a little bit. Yeah, I'm like, you was, I'm like, why you got a skirt on? Oh, P A W. We wear skirt. What's you dumb? What's P A W? Pentecost is the symbol of the world. Oh. I'm like, put some pants on. Oh, we don't wear. We don't wear pants. We she should have got some tights, the real thick ones that the kids wear. So I, I said, well, do you wear long johns when it's snow? <laughs> no, them are considered as pants. Oh, you dumb. They're considered underwear. <laughs> so what you got on? I started telling this, I started telling this on long underwear, but I didn't want to be disrespectful to her. I mean, what's under your wear is, is your own business. <laughs> Huh? All right, hold on a second, hold on a second. Um, Courtney had a hand up for a minute, I'm sorry. I had a question, um, mm -hmm. going back to something. Um, and I definitely can't be wrong, but um, why do you say you, why do you say that you don't need one for the other? I feel like if you're withholding this, you do need modesty, but to but be modest, you don't need to be holding this. Yeah. So that's why they don't go hand in hand with each other, because but, you can be of the world and be the be most modest, modest person yeah. in the world. But, but what I'm saying is the statement was made, you don't need one for the other. Meaning you can be modest, don't be holding this, and you can be holding this without being modest. That's well, what the statement was. I was just asking. I understand. I understand no, what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Maybe, maybe this will answer your question. Maybe one. I don't know. But like, I, like as I was saying earlier, when I had 
left God and went to the world and started doing what I wanted to do, I was more modest in the world than I was when I was in the church. Mm -hmm. um, and as missionary said, in the beginning, I would come to church. <laughs> He's going to use that the whole time. Right. I, would come, I would come to church Jesus. with anything on. Mm -hmm. I would come to church with my shorts on on a Sunday morning. Oh, I just didn't care anymore. But when, when I got to the world and go out with my friends, I would have on, I would make sure I put my jeans in the cleaners, be pressed out, oh, make sure my shoes are shine. I, I used to do all of that when I went out <laughs> to make sure I was decked out, to, to just make sure I'm, oh, I'm going to get some numbers. I ain't going to this club for nothing. But I'm going to get some numbers. Um, I could just have my hair cut. The day, the day that Saturday, I'm going to make sure I get a fresh shape up when I go into this club. So, Mike. does that answer your question? <laughs> I'm still, I mean, I just... You didn't explain to her. Yeah, I mean, it, nah, I understand what you're saying, but it's just, I don't think it actually kind of answered my question because what I'm saying is that I just want to, you know, make the difference of, I know that you can be modest, like you said, you can yeah. be in the world, you can be modest, you know, make sure that you're not showing a lot or you're not doing a lot, but... To be whole, you know, and holiness, I feel that you do need to be modest. Absolutely. But you don't need to be true. modest, you don't need to be holy. That's you know true. Absolutely. Just that the statement was made, you don't need one for the so, other. So I agree with that. So for clarification, so for clarification, with holiness comes modesty. Yeah. I mean, we, okay. did, we did say that, though. Right. We, we, we did, with did holiness, so. I mean, I'm yeah. sorry. I just, you no, know. No, I agree, though. So, uh, with holiness comes modesty, but with modesty does not come, come holiness. holiness. Yes. Okay? So let's, let's, let's go ahead and put that, put that in there. Yeah. Um, she birthed on camera. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong really like life, son. It is what it is. But I mean, just to say that again, so that nobody leaves out of here with any confusion. With holiness comes modesty. But with modesty does not come holiness. Okay? Um, cool. Um, let's turn to 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 since I have it on the board. Let's <clears throat> go to that for a second. Because I think that, I mean, what keeps us from, and I guess that's one of the things that I want to talk about, and I'm, I'm continuously erasing because it's not enough room on the, on the board. 1 Corinthians 6. 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 19. Well, you better read, Malik. Through, nah, because Shorty over here talking. <laughs> <laughs> you just learned how to read or something? <laughs> Let the preacher read. Are, you, are you taking pictures or something? Nah, nah, I'm trying to get the uh, this, this thing in it. I'm trying to get Okay. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with the price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Read. Keep reading. That's all there is, sir. I know, but everybody. Go ahead and read 20. <laughs> I did read 20. He did read 20. Oh, okay. Did it say 19 and 20? I'm sorry, go ahead and read 21. There's, There's no 21. 21. Jesus. What you got there is the English Standard Version. First Corinthians 6 is no 21. Yeah, it is not. Okay, that's cool. Stop there. See, he's reading from his Bible. You got a 21 verse in the Bible? <laughs> no, there ain't no 21 verses in chapter 6. I didn't think it was. Um, so, what do we, I mean, and that, I, I had us to read that scripture because I want to talk about some things that keep us from living a holy, a holy, uh, a holiness lifestyle. Um, you, you mentioned one thing, um, and I think that's one of the major things as young adults that, that gets us. Um, we're, <clears throat> excuse me, we're at a point where, you know, we're definitely, if, if not, you know, most of us, and as I said on last, um, two weeks ago, we're involved in some type of relationship, we've been involved in relationships before, we might be, some of us a little bit more serious than others, um, some of us might be, um, courting, you know, um, I'm saved and sanctified, but, hallelujah. But you know what is, but, you know what are some of the things that actually keep us from actually reaching holiness or actually obtaining holiness? What are, what are some things? And let's let's discuss that. A bad feeling. Um, 
Well, let's discuss that so we can get that so we can get that out of the way. God help. <clears throat> So, and I'm going to put on the board first and foremost. Um, Sex. Absolutely. Because <laughs> that's like a drug. You get addicted. Sex is a weapon. It's like a drug. Seriously. I had a personal well, I had a personal conversation with them during the summer. Oh, I thought you was getting ready to say yeah. something else. I was getting ready to say yeah. I, had a, I had a personal conversation with them during the summer. Um, them and the young people about my personal experience, how I was really, I was addicted to sex. Mm -hmm. I was really addicted. It was to the point, I was like a fiend. I was scratching. <laughs> hey, yeah. y'all laughing? But, hey, y'all laughing? I'm laughing because but I know what you're serious. talking about. That's yeah. why I'm laughing. It was yeah. to the point where, like, okay, come on, Daddy, stop preaching. I got, to, got an appointment. Her service starts in about an hour, so you know, I got to have some time. So it, it got to the point where yeah. I, we were doing it every day. day. I would leave. I would leave work for lunch, and I was at her house. Part of me wants to applaud you. When did you get tired? Body. I didn't. Jeez. You don't. You don't. That's, that's how much. That's how bad. That's how bad. That's how bad, that's how bad the stronghold is. That's how. That's how bad the stronghold is. Part of me wants to applaud. That's how bad the stronghold is. Sir, we're not applauding. We're not applauding. We're not applauding. I've been delivered. Hallelujah. And then it comes to a point where, where you don't get tired. Mm -hmm. It's like you can just get finished. You're like, okay, I want some more. That's a wonderful. Exactly that's a wonderful. That's a wonderful point. And um, I'm gonna get back to this. Put friends on there. Friends. 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 I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get back to that in a second. But only when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, do you do something about it. Mm -hmm. Getting an STD ain't gonna stop you. It ain't having a baby ain't gonna stop you. Thank the Lord I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that KID don't stop you. I can dance. Oh my God. Hallelujah. <laughs> that right there make you want to dance. I'm sorry. But okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay. No, but, but seriously, when, when the devil has a stronghold on you, no matter what you do until you're tired, I've had, I had, I've had bishops. Plural, pray for me, and just as soon as that prayer was done, I was going to go get me some. Oh yeah, because your mind was made up. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I said, I'm gonna I'm quit. I'm gonna have y'all pray for me, and we're gonna pray, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna fast, and we're gonna and, pray, and, and we're gonna like fast, and we're gonna pray until like I get drug. delivered. Sex is like a drug. It was like, like, like the devil was like, okay. Keep on praying. <laughs> Keep on fasting. It, it was, my daddy locked me in the house for a whole weekend. We were fasting. We were praying. And I was calling on Jesus. Lord, deliver me. Deliver me, Jesus. Huck up a shine. Spitting in the sweat. Sunday morning we got and I was right in her bed. <laughs> you don't even know how you got there. Oh, I know how you got there. You know how you got there. You know how you got there. Man. You know you know you know there. Once the huck up a shine was over and we were just sitting around talking, my mom was thinking, God, I wish she was there. And they would talk to me. They think I was in tune to the conversation too. But my mind was somewhere else. So like, I don't, like, I wondered how I'm like the missionary said, <laughs> once you get tired of being sick and tired, then things change. Once to, once I got to the point I was tired of it, mm -hmm. I said, okay, God, you got to do something. And that's when God moved. Them prayers and them shedding were really in vain because my mind wasn't made up. I was still determined, this going, we're going to do this. That's why we got choices. And that's why we got church. And I said it because it sounds good. It sounds good to say, okay, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to be delivered. And, and you know I'm really going to serve you know God. To be. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. it's but until my mind got made up that I'm really going to set out to God and, and be holy for real, that's when God stepped in and said, okay, now we're going to fry. Now we're going to put, put yourself on there. It's hard to uh, break that addiction because it is chemical. It is. It, it, it is chemical. But that's why, you know, we serve a God of yeah. second and third billion chances. Cause, because if God gave you one shot, <laughs> so I, I, the devil had wow. me so much so I was telling preachers, well, God shouldn't create. He knew what he was doing. If he wanted to have it, he wouldn't have created it. That's, like that's how bad the weed, man. That's how that's bad the devil had me. That's, how, that's how bad the stronghold was. <laughs> It's good for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was good. It's good for you. It is it's natural. natural. It's, stress. It, 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 it's a stress reliever. It, it, gives, it, it prolongs your life. Strength. But that's neither here nor there. So it's exercise. It's it exercise. Not that. It, it, it prolongs your life. 
exposure. Uh, only until will we will we actually, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to use the phrase "bust the move," but only until then will we will will something change. Mm -hmm. And it's called exposure. Now we have a choice whether. And God, God is, God is, and I said this on two weeks ago. God is so faithful. He will, He gives us these lessons, and He gives us the words. Hey, yo, get it, get it together. Yo, get it right. Yo, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying, I'm trying not to shame you. You know what I'm saying, get, Malik? Yo, I, I put you. You know what I'm saying, your grandmother and your grandfather as wonderful examples. Um, Yolan, you know you. Um, I, I put you close with, with your co-pastor so you can learn and obtain something. Um, excuse me, Courtney, I've given you your sister, so, you know, for as an accountability partner, um, vice versa. I mean, so many of us, God has placed certain people in our lives and he has placed us in positions where we're without excuse. Again, like I said, and I keep going back to some things, but again, like I said before, it's 